No. I wanted to talk to you about some of the uh, non-monologue and non-syllabic stuff about the play, too. Uh, uh, there's a, sort of a pair of scenes. There's a scene where Dream, Jenny, and Danny are uh, basically completing each other's sentences, or one sentence leads into another. That leads into a great section where you uh, interpose prisoner dialogue and talking about are you number two or are you number six, these type of things. And then uh, there's another scene, too, that's much more amusing where the real Jenny has Danny on a couch talking about his problems, and she's noting things down. Hmm. Which is a sort of a preview to uh, this unalterable animal with, yeah. with the psychologist. But And that, that wasn't planned. Uh, I, I didn't know which play I was going to do next. But, uh, well, I mean, I, I try to do a lot of things. I mean, one thing you haven't mentioned yet is Groucho Marx. The, the, the image of Groucho Marx, or the... the 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 sort of vaudeville type uh, approach to this play, which starts off with uh, some of the Groucho Marx quotes, and Groucho Marx is probably the closest thing to a twentieth century equivalent, uh, quote wise, to Oscar Wilde. He's he's probably the you can't go wrong with a Groucho Marx quote, just like you can't go wrong with an Oscar Wilde. But one of these days, I'm going to have to do. Uh, a play with, and I'm going to write that down. I'm going to do a play with some Oscar Wilde quotes. I'm just going to write that down. Um, but uh, 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 my my own personal favorite scene is the scene where they, where I think it's the Dream Jenny and Danny who uh, are sort of mimicking the famous Duck Soup film uh, scene yeah. where Groucho and someone else, you know, there 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 was a mirror, but that when they come, you know, they're, they're mimicking each other's speech and, and, and things. And finally, uh, Danny tricks, uh, the, I think it's Dream Jenny, into, into giving herself away. But it, it's a lot, of, a lot of ways of exploring different ways of looking at it. Because a mirror, is that you? And so is Danny looking at an image of himself when he's looking at Dream Jenny? Uh, and is he tricking part of himself? So it gets there's a there's a good psychological rhythm over and over where it goes with these little vaudevillian moments and and whatnot. Uh, you mentioned Groucho Marx. Um, I remember reading an essay from you where you're talking about how none of the Marx brothers could compete with Groucho. He basically was the Marx brothers. Yeah. And um, I, it's a point I agree with too. Uh, but I've also seen him in older interviews, and you're right, that he just it comes up with quotes and things just out of there. I, I've always um, wondered, too, if the films that he did, if he had just improvised much of his quotes on the spot, because it, it certainly seems that way. I don't think so. I, I've seen interviews with him where uh, there's an interview that he did, an hour-long interview. I think it might be on Dick Cavett. Yeah, I think it's on the Dick Cavett show. Um and you can, can is that the one with uh, Truman Capote? No, it's just a Croucher for now. Oh, is it Crouch? No, it's actually William F. Buckley, I believe. It's either Buckley or or, or Dick Cavett. But he basically says uh, for like the films, they would rehearse and rehearse. But it gets to a point where it seems like it, it's off the cuff because they've rehearsed it to be that way. That's not to say, though, uh, he, he was great with spontaneous quotes when he did his... Uh, game show, which was a half hour long, You Bet Your Life, they'd actually tape an hour or so because they could never get it down. And so they would then edit it down into the half hour form uh, format. And so, uh, yeah, so uh, the, the the spec, that, and that's, this, this play ha is deep, but it's funny. It, it's, it's, it's highly artificed. But yet it's also when the characters talk, there's a naturalism that, and that's one of the things in plays you should, or, or in any kind of art, but whenever you're doing conversations, especially when you're writing something for the stage or a screenplay, is no matter how far out uh, a situation you put someone in, you could put them in a Samuel Beckett-like situation where there are people, you know, just crawling around in the dark something like my eye other than human kind of play or a Twilight Zone kind of episode. But as long as the characters act in believably human or recognizably human ways, you can you can get away with the outrageousness of the act 
because you you say, oh yeah, I, I could, if I was in that situation, if there's that famous uh, Twilight Zone episode where there's five characters in search of an exit and it turns out they're dolls in a Salvation Army uh, garbage can. And, uh, but you could believe that if they really were the airline or the, the was it the Air Force captain and the clown and a ballerina and a hobo and uh, I forget what the other, oh, the bagpiper, the Scottish bagpiper, that if they were in that situation, that they would act pretty much as uh, these characters act. And so that's why that's one of the great Twilight Zone episodes. Um, and, and so you have, this is this is why you need to be able to listen to, to people, listen to dialogue. And I, I'm so refined that, like today I just, between talking to you, but when I got home from work and talking to you, I just did 3,000 words of a, a scene that uh, involves the uh, some of the characters from my old uh, play uh, arose for Emily. The Emmy Emmy character is in oh, this yeah. play, and uh, but it, it I can, that character just like with Bid von Rheingold or Paulie Maravelli or, or or some other characters, I just know them. I can just slip into them so easily. Uh, and you know, if I said, you know, what would happen if uh, uh, Emmy? Uh, Emmy Clemenza met Bit von Rheingold. I mean, that would be like, you know, I, I know how those characters would react to each other. Is that other. the play? No. 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 You may want to change course. <laughs>